He was a deputy in California, a police officer in Utah, and then he left to the private sector. But Sergeant Sean Bias is now back serving and protecting, and we find out why in tonight's Behind the Badge. The first time, you're just overwhelmed with the job and with what there is to learn. And I don't think there's time really to even think about being overwhelmed, you just are. Sergeant Sean Bias explains the difference between his first, second, and third stint in law enforcement. The second time, you know the job, you know how to be a police officer. The third time, it's all just about proving yourself to younger people. Uh, it's just about proving that you can still go out there and catch bad guys, and that uh, you, even though you're a little more heavier than you were the first time, uh, you could still chase somebody down if you need to, or, or at least know how to work the radio and let the young bucks go catch them for you. He started his police career in Riverside County, California. His second job was for West Valley City PD. He then left law enforcement to work in the private sector in risk management. It was more money. It was fun. Um, it was interesting. It was different. It was safe. But it wasn't police work. So he came back a third time to serve and protect. You get older in life and you realize that uh, you only get one chance to make a difference. And you, you can either do it or you don't. The 37-year-old officer says for most, including himself, joining the force was about the intensity and protecting. I was an adrenaline junkie and I enjoyed chasing bad guys and getting into pursuits and foot pursuits and that kind of stuff. He says coming back was more about thinking and serving. It was more about uh, fulfillment and service. I don't think that you can quite have the impact that you can have um, in, in many other jobs than law enforcement. He says each time he signed up, in many ways, it was like starting over. Basically, you've been a rookie or the new guy like three times. How, did that, how does that play out? You just got to prove yourself three times. Some people know you and you have the reputation. Some people, you've got to prove yourself again. It's, it's a fun challenge. Yeah. Sergeant Bias says even these so-called experienced new guys don't just get waved through. I had to go through another training program when I came back. It was modified, but it was still a training program. And he says they have to suffer through everything new recruits suffer through. On the pepper spraying and the tasing, do the math. Pepper sprayed three times, tased two times. Sergeant Bias says it would have been less painful and probably easier to just stay with one department his entire career. But he adds doing it this way has been a lot of fun. You only get to be a new guy once, maybe twice. I've got to be the new guy three times. Say. Sergeant Bias shared a couple of interesting stories with us during our interview, including a chase story that ended up in that pond at Liberty Park. To hear that story, which it's definitely worth uh, listening to, just check out this story online. It's in our web extra, that extra video there. Best way to check it out, go to abc4.com and search behind the badge, or just go straight to it, abc4.com slash badge. While you're there, you can also nominate a first responder for a future Behind the Badge story.